basically uh, broke um, May 14th um, about my cancer diagnosis, but uh, when it really became public in, in the national spotlight was um, October 3rd when we played Florida State and game day came uh, came for the day. And, and you know, that was, uh, that was when the, the flood of, of people contacting me and everything kind of first started, but you know, the whole story, the process started before that for me. Um, and uh, on, you know, back in April of this time last year, I was getting ready uh, to play in the spring game for football. And um, I was having pain in my leg and uh, I couldn't I couldn't go out, um, you know, tried to go to parties, but had to come back early because my leg was hurting too bad. I had to um, sleep with sleep with heat packs on my leg. Um, just to numb the pain and you know that that was tough it was really hard because I, I went to a bunch of doctors didn't know really what was going on and um, you know did, did x-rays of my back thought it was nerve damage and stuff but we you know we couldn't figure out you know what it was even one time you know I can't take uh, good painkillers because we get tested by NCAA so I called my dad I was like dad I was like I can't sleep I don't know what to do He's like, uh, oh, take my credit card, go down to city side, <laughs> buy yourself some Jack Daniels or something. And he's like, numb the pain that way. Maybe that'll work. Um, so, you know, that was kind of, it's like, what am I supposed to do? I can't figure out what's wrong. Um, doctors don't know. I don't know. Um, and so after, after the spring game and after finals, I went back home to, to Philadelphia and had a whole bunch of tests planned out. I was there for a week, and I, had, I think I had uh, six or seven doctor's appointments um, scheduled for then. And um, one of them was an MRI of my leg. And uh, the MRI came up. Uh, you know, I got the doc I got the MRI, went back home. You know, next day was seeing another doctor, pulled in the driveway and got a call from uh, my orthopedic doctor and said, you know, you need to go to Penn Oncology right now. Um, and so, you know, I was like, well, must be precautionary or something. So uh, go down there, um, take a drive with my mom and my dad, and, you know, we pull into the hospital. We have to wait for a while. Then we get in, um, and, uh, you know, you're sitting in a doctor's office. You're like, this is, you know, this is an oncology office. This is not, you know, messing around. This isn't just uh, just a little sick or something. So they threw the MRI up on the screen and my right leg was dark, which is normal. And my left leg uh, was completely white. Um, and for those of you who don't know, on an MRI, fluid shows up white and a tumor is made up of 90% fluid. So it was white. And the doctor said, you know, we don't know for sure if this is cancerous, but uh, it's so big and has grown so fast that we're about 99% sure that you have a sarcoma. Um, and the point in uh, you know my life, I was 21 years old. Uh, I was coming off the best season football of my life. Um, I was having fun at school. Everything was going pretty well. And to that, hear that news and have it all come crashing down is like, you know, what what do I do? What do I say? Um, I can't turn to my mom or my dad, you know, they don't know what it's like to experience that, you know, my friends don't know what it's like to be told that, you know, you might die. Um, and it took me about two hours when I got home, I got home, uh, I laid down on my bed, I had my iPod in and, you know, the thoughts are just like, how did this happen? Why did this happen? Just flooded into my body, into my brain. And after sulking, feeling completely in the pits for that amount of time, you know, I realized, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Was I going to sit back and just let this beat me? You know, was I going to just give up because I got bad news? You know, that's, that's not the way uh, that I was raised. That's not the way that I wanted to live my life. Um, and that's not the way, you know, I wanted my life to end. Um, so, you know, I decided at that moment that 
there was, whether it was cancer, whether it was, you know, Florida, nothing was going to beat me at that point. Um, whether the doctors told me, said, you know, it, this cancer can be cured. If you fight it, you get through the treatments. Um, there's about a 70% cure rate with this, which to me, I'm like 70%. That's 30% chance of dying. That kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, I was like, I can do this. Like, I can be one of those 70%. Um, and he told me I'd never be able to play football again, too. He said, you know, with, with this type of cancer, it's so big in your bone that we're going to have to take out um, your femur and replace it with a metal rod. And he said, you know, they, sometimes they do radiation, but they don't ever usually do that on, on, you know, on your legs or arms or stuff like that. So there I am sitting in my bed, decided that I'm going to beat this, decided that I'm going to play football again. But the odds aren't really on my side.